I didn't know what I was really getting into. Major Dale Benfeld was one of the first Canadian soldiers to set foot in Afghanistan. This is his story. I seen a, a whole different country than I'd been prepared for. It wasn't until they asked me to go there that I started realizing what the culture and the people were like. The people were fantastic. You know, that is the one thing I always brought back. And one, of, one of the biggest heartaches or heartbreaks for me were the people. Um, I found the people warm, uh, hard by the fact that they had a hard life to live, uh, strong and, and willing only to do for themselves. Afghanistan is as complex as its people. And I was always told I couldn't communicate with them because that's part of their culture. But one day I had had enough. I seen this beautiful young girl. I just want to go over and give her something because all the boys were always given everything. So I walked over through the, waited through the group and I went over and I gave her a pencil. No, in fact, actually it was a toothbrush I gave her. It wasn't a pencil, it was a toothbrush because I had it stuck in here. She took the toothbrush, a boy came over, took it, slapped her for even you know, being in my proximity as a foreign or an unknown male and took the toothbrush. I grabbed the boy, Kais, my interpreter, came and says, you can't get involved, that's his right. He, she's not supposed to have been talking to you. I don't give her, you know, I was upset, I was mad, missing my daughter, I don't care. Took the toothbrush away, put him down, gave it back to her and she took off. Later that day, she ended up following me to whatever PD district it's called, and she showed up and gave me a pistol. We, it was well known among the kids, we wanted the guns off the street. That was because troops mistook children playing with broken weapons for insurgents, especially at night. That would be the beginning of a special bond, and she would continue to follow him. The question was, how was she finding me? Well, on the carrier, there's a small Canadian flag. I thought her name was a henna. She was a street child. She had no parents. She lived on the street. She had nothing. But even when she had nothing, she tried to make something. But things took a turn for the worse. I started seeing that she was getting sick because she was had a runny nose. She's becoming gaunt, very white. And I tried to get her into the American base hospital. And they, they have enough casualties, enough problems that they will not take local problems. Henna, like so many Afghani children, turned to hash to curb her hunger. And eventually she just disappeared and I was told before I departed she had passed away. That bond would be a turning point. For Benfeld, the mission became personal. This school was built in his daughter's name. Were we allowed to do that? No. But it was something I felt I needed to leave. I needed to leave something there that I personally had done, not using you know, Canadian or American money. Reaching across boundaries proved difficult. In one instance, Canadians helped create a playground for Afghani children. The Taliban would end up using it as bait, tying grenades to swings that would explode if a child used them. They waited for Canadians to come back to clear the area again. You see professional soldiers are ducking and running, but in the background you see the kids. The kids, the explosion is going off. The kids are standing there. These kids have known nothing but war for so many years that it does not affect them. We come in there thinking we're going to save it all, we're going to change everything, we're going to bring our 21st century Western mentality in, and they'll embrace it, they'll love it, and that's the end of it. Uh, but then we, we get there and a lot of these guys are going, why, don't, why do these people hate us? Canadians can find no simple reason, but the Taliban's tactics are calculated as witnessed during a ramp ceremony for one of the first Canadian soldiers killed by a suicide bomber. And it was a very moving thing, but at the same time we were on parade, there was an explosion, a very large explosion, be outside the camp up the road. That is when they took out a British patrol and they took two casualties. And what we took that as, they were telling us something. Not only are you Canadians burying somebody today, but where you can still take even more out on you. It was clear from the beginning the rules of engagement were undefined, as was the enemy. In Afghanistan, the issue is they're everywhere. You don't know if the guy walking beside you, the guy that you shook hands with this morning, you know, the storekeeper that you bought something off at the corner yesterday, they could all someday be the one that's taking the shot at you. What may be most telling is whether Benfeld believes everything he did and sacrificed for was worth it. Good question. Um, it was a life event. Um, I don't think I would be the same person if I had not experienced it. Um, everything comes with a cost. 
and uh, I don't know. I wish I could give you a different. I know you want to. I, 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 is it worth it? It, it? it it changes. Some days I think it's worth it because I got to experience something. Other days I realize what it personally cost me and, and how it affected people here and and around me. Um, if I could go back at time, I probably wouldn't have gone. I think November 11th has a, yeah, a new meaning in our society because we can put faces to them now. They're no longer black and white pictures. These are men and women that you, when you look at their picture going, well, he's a soccer coach or he was the kid that was on the local hockey team five years ago. A lot of the guys that are in university are walking beside you or shopping. Some of these guys are veterans. They're not the legion you know, stereotypical guy that you're, you're expecting. So as Canadians, we, we've got to start realizing the veteran has changed. We still honor our veterans from th the wars, but there, there is a new group of them now.